very well. The regional authorities duplicate county functions. Where do we retain them? Complete with budgets. To those doubting Thomases within the regime, these measures above will release the estimated 500 billion shillings required to bring back the economy on an even keel. Realistic debt management. Currently, Kenya is caught in a debt, debt rut where it has resorted to borrowing more to repay debt. It makes no sense to us to borrow more to repay debt when debt is already too high. It amounts digging when you're already in a deep hole. Our position is that the National Treasury ought to ask creditors to push up payments falling due to a future date rather than keep paying it. This is what people do when they have a crunch in their finances but know they can pay later when their income is higher. Rescheduling debt is not at the same time as, as the same thing as debt default. People default when they are bankrupt. Kenya is not bankrupt. Kenya should not default. By rescheduling debt payment falling due, the government can forego punitive taxes and create room for critical social and economic spending. In conclusion, one year on since the inception of new government, this is the time to reset the economic policy broadly. And you're not going to reset this broadly by mere rhetorics, by talking and making promises uh, to the people, empty promises. The effectiveness of government by key initiatives, including the Hatta Fund, should be reviewed by a forum comprised of the government, political parties, the business community, and the civil society. This is what should be happening. And if this happens, we'll be able to come up with proper solution to the problem that we are facing today. The government today is living in denial. If you listen to the State of the Nation address yesterday, if you are talking to some people who are living in planet moon, <laughs> you are not being realistic to problems confronting this country. And these problems must be confronted frontally, not by trying to give diversions here and there. We have said today that the cost of living is real and is killing the people. It has to be addressed if you are going to actually relieve the, 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 the plight of the people of this country. This is our position as Azimio. Now, finally, Madam, you've written there, Ray Lodinga ran for presidency five times and lost five times. In other words, and, and each time he complained that he did not lose. I accepted losing elections in 1997. I said I had lost and accepted. In 2007, the jury is out there. Everybody knows what happened. In 2013, everybody knows. 2017, people know. 2022, some of you are around in the country. <laughs> the the, the so-called Independent Election and Boundary Commission had seven commissioners. Out of those seven commissioners, four said no. Three are the ones who said yes. But four said no. And they even have come before the Calonzo team and have said no. And they've said that the chairman heard that up to now he has not published the results of the elections in accordance to the law. 
And to me, they say that four is bigger than three. If the, if the majority said that I won the elections, I cannot say I lost it. Yes. And that's why, <laughs> irrespective of what the Supreme Court said, I thank you very much.